Hello fans, viewers, I'm back for another beer review. This one is a very rare beer and one I've been looking forward to trying for some time. I've known about this for a few years now and um, what it is is Westmel Extra. Uh, there you go, Westmel Extra. This comes in at 4.8%, it's a 3.30, brewed by monks, it's a Trappist beer. And what makes this beer so special is the fact that uh, the monks actually drink this during the daytime when they're actually brewing the uh, West Mail beers. So they want something presumably light and, and whatever else, nothing too thingy, so that when they're doing it during the day they don't get pissed. Um, very hard to track down, I've taken me a number of years to find it. Um, to be truthful, I've forgotten all about it, and then I've just re-hunted it and found it and bought it. So yeah, happy days. Um, it's gone cloudy, it was clear and it was like a very light ambery pilsnery colour. Uh, but due to the sediment upon pouring the rest in there, it's gone a bit cloudy. The head keeps on going up and down. I'm just going to bring it up. You can see the cloudiness of that. And uh, the head there, look, keeps going sort of weird, big foamy bubbles, and then it sort of goes again. Big bubbles on combination too, so um, yeah, let's crack on. I wish I'd have not poured the sediment in now, but hey ho. Smells alcoholic. It smells alcoholic, musky, um, earthy. Doesn't smell too good at all, if I'm being quite honest. So let's crack on. Okay. It's light bodied, um, very well carbonated, and to me this is really really bizarre. But uh, the closest I can describe this would be of sweet grains and sweet malts. This is very similar to when I do my home brew where. You've got your grains and you've got them in the bag. When you finish straining them, all of that water that comes out, if you just drink that, it's like a super malt drink. It's really sweet. It gives you a bit of a head rush. Um, it's kind of like that. It's that sweet grain taste with um, a bitter aftertaste on it. Very, very well carbonated. And this thing is still streaming, as you can see. Very well carbonated, even in the mouth. It is quite a sweet malty beer really. Some hints of, of like a biscuit malt as well. But I'd say like a sweet grainy beer. Um it's okay, it's drinkable. Um the aftertaste is sweet and, and dry. You've got a sweet dry feel going on. Not <coughs> what I was expecting actually from a beer like this. <coughs> Up, son of a beer. Oh, Christ. So there it is, Westmail Extra. This is drunk by monks um, during their time when they brew it. So there's only three Westmails. I've had all three now officially. There's Westmail Double, Westmail Triple, and then Westmail Extra. Um, which one do I prefer of all of them? I would have to say probably double, and I don't mind this one as well. Triple was a bit too boozy forward, but still, nevertheless, worth trying all three of these fans. And by all means, um, if you can get your hands on this, it's worth a try. It's not what I was expecting. It's light, it's easy, uh, just sweet grain taste, not much more than that, and just hints of bitter towards the end. Um, what would I score this? Um, I would probably give it a, a 5, I think, because there's, to me, I just want a bit more of a, a different taste. There's just, all I don't get any sweet grain, sweet malt, and dry, and that's it. That's what I'm getting, but I'm not, I'm not saying it's too bad, but uh, I can see why they've, they've done this, you know, after all. It's what they're drinking during the daytime, so um, 
you want a beer with a little bit of flavour, not too heavy, nice and light, not too strong in the alcohol department, and you've got yourself a winner. So there you go, that's my verdict. Till next time fans, join me next time when I've got some more beer reviews and you're going to like the ones coming up next. They've got some good ones, very good ones indeed. <laughs> Till then, join me next time.